Well, today was incredible. Just a huge rally hire. And I was just blown away. Obviously, my puts got wrecked, absolutely wrecked. And that's totally cool. Uh, I didn't have any money in the market that I wasn't willing to lose, obviously, especially when you're going on one-sided long options like calls or puts without any hedge. You're just whatever. It's pretty much just gambling. I did intend to sell those puts at open, but I was distracted and didn't enter the order in. So uh, <laughs> I got trapped there, which sucked, but that's okay. It's really good for the apes, for everyone who has been holding these shares for so long. This is an explosive rally and the close is really important. It was above and outside of the upper level of the ascending broadening wedge that I've been following, this corrective pattern. And not only that, but the price also closed on or above, depending on how you draw it, but the trend line from the all-time high at 72. And so if you've been paying really close attention the last couple of, of weeks, I've been saying, look, this corrective bounce, this is it for me. If it, This needs to be the squeeze. And if it's not gonna squeeze now, then I'm done waiting for it. I mean, it's been well over a year, you know? It's been a super long journey. And essentially, my whole vlog has covered the decline from the all-time high. <laughs> and I think I've done a really good job at that. And th th we're at the point now where the price is is testing the, the overall idea that, you know, Moaz is fake. <laughs> the analysis has been really bearish for a really long time, and it looks like a short squeeze could be underway here. I don't want to get too excited, though. I don't, because one one day, one close above that trend line is not enough for me to say, yes, it's squeeze time. I think we need to wait and watch next week very, very, very carefully. I remember when the price ran up to $34, it felt a lot like this too. I remember how it felt at 72 and it was just like, it's crazy. It, the price will go nuts and, and people will lose their cool. So remember to stay safe, be responsible, and only put as much in as you're willing to lose because it takes a lot to hold some to hold these shares. <laughs> I, I uh, My cost basis was like $12 before the price ran up to its all-time high. <laughs> I didn't take profits up there. And that was stupid. I should have done that. And so we're, we might be in another similar scenario where the price might run to a new high and it might be like $120, whatever it is. And it's important to remember that just because something looks like it's happening doesn't mean it is. And we could see some really bullish action and it's gonna be hard to keep a cool head, but I would encourage everyone just to be careful, be cautious, and, and take something from, from me and take profits if it feels right. It's never wrong to take profits if it feels right. So I just wanted to get my thoughts down. I know I haven't been making very many videos. I'm just getting tired, to be honest. It's a lot of effort. Um, and I, I might be posting less, too. I'll make sure that my Captivate subscribers are always getting their, their videos on the weekends, and, and maybe I'll do some lives, too, here and there. It just depends. I'm getting really busy with work. I, I need to focus more on my career at the moment. It's turning into a, a, a situation where it's not just my well-being, but there are people who need me to do my job. And so I'm thinking I, I probably need to, to do less of this. But I'm going to make sure CapVision subscribers get a lot of participation in the Discord, in the private channel. I'm, I, I'm really proud of the community, you guys. I really am. I never expected that anyone would even ever follow me and now the discord has over 200 people in it which is pretty small right compared to uh, a lot of the discords that are around but i think that it's a really great community a lot of active users smart people great analysis and good discussion to be honest like i'm really proud of, of the community that has uh, been kind of following me that's been built around me uh, my mods are great stock ed Exoplanetary, OB1, Oblong Japan, although Oblong, you've been kind of like, you know, here and there, and that's cool, man. That's cool. So, I don't know. I, I think that I'll, I'll always stick around, I but I want to participate in the community just as like me, just another person in there. I never wanted to be the head of anything, to be honest. So, I'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to figure out what my new work life and YouTube balance is going to be. If we do get a short squeeze, it won't matter because I'll be able to quit my job. But let's be honest, that's not something you can hope for. And if you do hope for that, that will wear you down if it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty brutal when the price started dropping 45. There, that was that was rough. So take it from me. Only take it for what it is and not for what you hope it to be. 
it's not happening until it's happening and when it does happen you're gonna know it so that's what i have for now today's video just a quick video of me just putting some thoughts out there this is a vlog after all go ahead subscribe to cap vision if you'd like i'm gonna be less active in the lounge i think that my mods are doing a good job keeping the community you know on track and and the, and the discussions on points uh, I do appreciate StockEd too helping to get people into the private lounge. It's uh, it's good. So that's all I have for now. Happy trading.